Peter, could you tell us a little bit about First Precision Carbide Limited? Yes, we are punch and die manufacturers, manufacturing form dies and form punches for the uh, coal forming industry. There are a number of areas that we work with in electronics, automotive, and even battery manufacturing. So to a certain extent, they're quite small components that you're manufacturing here? Very small components, anything from half a mil to 25 mil bore size diameters and quite elaborate forms. Now recently you've uh, made an investment over the last two years in uh, changing the process to uh, EDM, but also with these XYZ 2-op machines that we're looking at here. Can you explain why the process has changed and how the XYZ 2-op uh, machines are benefiting your business? Well, over the years we've tried to maintain our costs and prices and our actual sale prices for our components. And we're proud to say that we've actually not increased our prices for many, many years. But by doing that, we've had to evolve our processes. And it, it come to a point where we felt we'd reached the limit of our grinding experience and abilities. We needed to look in other areas and the die sinkers was the, the natural alternative. So we've literally gone from form grinding to form sparking. So that when we looked at the process, it meant that it's quite detailed what we need to look at, the various types of machineries that are available, and what would be the best products and best machineries to produce what we wanted to achieve. So, so why the XYZ 2-op machines then? Well, when we looked at the, obviously the die sinker was the first thing we looked at, then we went on to the XYZ to manufacture electrodes. We could have continued and, and ground electrodes or the conventional milling and turning, but because some of the forms were so complex, it needed to be a CNC mill. So we looked at the various options that were around, and in truth, the XYZ was the only one that offered us everything we needed. And I suppose with the XYZ 2 ops, they're a very small footprint, and obviously you are expanded, but this particular unit, it's quite small, so they fit in quite well. They do, that was an issue initially. We were trying to adapt our existing tool room to take these quite large machines and uh, size was an issue when it comes to that. And so obviously in the future it won't be the case, but as it's turned out, they've worked out perfect for our requirements. They're a small machine, but fairly versatile, quite accurate, which is what we required, and fast. And how do you get on with the uh, service and backup at XYZ? I, I hear it's always good, but uh, what's your thought? It is good, yes. Again, there's always someone on the end of the phone. You, you get plenty of response, no waiting for information. They are quite, they are very good, I'd say, yes. So changing your process from sort of really hand finishing to a certain extent into more of an automated way for your customers' needs, the XYZ 2 Ops have been a great uh, purchase for you guys. Absolutely, they've been an exceptionally good purchase. It's, it's speeded up so many more of the processes. It's enabled us to do so more complex forms where we weren't able to tackle or where we were working on them we was actually trying to do them by hand, which it seems quite a difficult process in the first place, but that's, that's one of the big pluses. And before visiting first uh, today, I've noticed that you're investing in your company, you've got a brand new website. Does that mean that this new process that you've got here and with XYZ to help, you're looking for more work? Absolutely, we've increased our capacity. If, I would say actually we've doubled our capacity by introducing these machines. Cost-wise, it's been the same, but enabled us to actually look at different staffing for the machines as opposed to the standard tool makers which just aren't available these days. Great success story. Thanks very much, Peter. Thank you.